Davidas is a mentee and recently sent me a video by Ed Sheeran. Short video. It was on what he learned about failure. And boy, in three minutes, is it so on point to what we see in this business acquisition. And many of these things he points out, we've talked about, but I really want you to listen to this and take your own lessons from it. And remember that, as I've said many times, you will fail your way to success. Important to remember, important to see, and he gives a great example of that. So let's listen to what Ed Sheeran has to say about failure as he was on the Howard Stern show. Fucking great is it that you can sing your own songs? I mean, that's something you're born with, right? You could always sing. Uh, no, no, I no? really like honestly, man. Really? I, I, yeah, I have you got YouTube? Can you, I, I can pull up a song that I wrote when I was 14? Sure, if you we can, can get it. So if yeah, you type what's... in Ed Sheeran Addicted, and this is a song that I made when I was 14, and you can hear. I want to hear that. I didn't have talent. I really didn't. And I had to, I, and this is me, that, this is me at 14 singing this. And I got successful at 19. Oh, here we go. I think I took too much. I'm a dick. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Let me hear a little more. <laughs> this is great. I love that. You, so you're telling me you perfected this because I hear you sing and I go, well, he just can sing. Did you take less? I mean, because this is not. When did you? What, how did? When did you realize? Well, no, I can we sing. Can, we I can mean, definitely send it off now. We can all right, you can you can kill that. Ed's gonna. <laughs> this is what I play to kids, and I'm like, look, this is me at 14. I wrote the A team at 18. So four years later, I made the A team and I recorded it. And in four years, I learned harmony. I learned how to sing in tune. I learned how to perform. I learned how to do in time. And you can do it. But was it from going out and performing that you learned that, or did yeah, someone... failing? time and time after again yeah like i i'm sure i'm sure you'll agree with me with this you learn nothing from success nothing you learn everything from the failures and this is the thing that annoys me about the state that the world is in at the moment is no one talks about failure anymore it's like shame like failure is shame and it's like oh let's just bury that and not talk about it. no one goes oh what do we learn from this whereas with success everyone shouts about it but there's nothing in success success happens from failing hundreds of times this is such a great message and people don't believe it i truly believe especially with that demonstration you just gave us if you were 14 <laughs> i truly believe that if you work hard enough at something i don't care what it is that you can really become an expert you can become great but it doesn't just happen overnight you have to be no. rubbish and you have to have people laugh at you and you have to have people go Oh, go on, get a real job. No, yeah, this isn't really going to work. You have to, and you just have to have belief that eventually it is going to get better. Where the hell does that belief in yourself come from? The belief comes from, and I'm sure you feel the same way as well, of like, what else are you going to do? I love playing music. I love writing songs. I love performing. And I'm like, I can't do anything else. This is, this is all I love to do. And I, early on, when I was like 17, 18, I remember I played a wedding and I played covers for two hours. And at the end of the wedding, I got given 200 pounds which was like the month's rent. I was like, oh my God, I can get paid singing songs. And th in that realization, I was like, whatever happens, I know I'm good. Somewhere in music, I'll be able to make a living. This is the thing that I say to kids as well when they, when I, when they want to get into music. I'm like, don't have a plan B. Because if you have a plan B, when it gets difficult, you'll quit and you'll do the plan B. If you only have plan A, you will succeed because you'll just be like, I have to do it. So it's going to happen. So I would ask you to remember... What you just heard, write down those lessons, write down something that's going to remind you of that. Maybe write down failure is the process by which you succeed or something like that. What I learned about failure, I am continuing to learn to get better and better at whatever it is that you want to apply that to. But failure is part of the process, as you just heard. So remember that. 
If you don't know what the process is, go over to BruceWhipple.com and grab the Acquisition Advantage Bootcamp recordings. It's important that you know the steps to follow. And lastly, over there, there's a free course. If you uh, go over to BruceWhipple.com, enter your email, you'll also get on my email list where I send three times a week actionable items that you can do. If you want to go there directly, just BruceWhipple.com forward slash free course. But this was one of the best videos in such a short period of time that's so on point to what we're doing in this business acquisition. So I hope that you learned from it and continue to take action and realize that, in fact, you will indeed fail your way to success. If, and this is a big if, you don't quit.